Welcome to Success Tips. In this segment, I'm going to address a few of the frequently asked questions from business managers that have attended our menu selling seminars across the country. I am often asked, how many menus do I need? The answer to this question is three. A finance menu, a lease menu, and a cash menu. However, many business managers will create more menus as they grow confident and successful with their menu selling sales process. For example, a new vehicle menu, a pre-owned vehicle menu, or a light duty truck menu. Some business managers will also create different menus for vehicles within their franchise. A menu for a, a BMW 3 Series, a menu for a BMW 5 Series, and a menu for a BMW 7 Series, for example. Question, should I present the cash price of each individual business office product as I'm presenting my menu? And secondly, what numbers do I present at the bottom of each menu option? This is a simple matter of preference. Some business managers present the cash price of each individual business office product, while others do not. If, however, your customer is very analytical or extremely cautious, we recommend that you do. The more information you expose on your menu, the more likely you are to gain the trust and credibility of your customer. At the bottom of the menu, some business managers prefer to focus on the change in the monthly payment only. For example, Mr. Smith, the Platinum option will change your payment by $124 per month. Other business managers prefer to show the exact monthly payment or bi-weekly payment for each option. Some business managers will also show a dollar amount savings for each option on their menu or gifts and incentives. Question, how would I know what extended service plan to include in my menu if I haven't interviewed my customer and determined their driving habits? This is probably the question that I'm most often asked. The trade-in information presented to you by the salesperson will be a good indication. Their previous vehicle experience will usually give you an idea as to how long they may keep their newer vehicle and how many kilometers they'll likely drive. From this information, you can match an extended service plan to their anticipated driving needs. If there is no trade-in vehicle to provide you a guideline, you might simply guess. Choose a popular comprehensive coverage plan to include in your menu. When presenting your menu to your customer, you can simply share with them that you've chosen a popular plan for the purpose of creating options and that you can adjust the plan and pricing to suit their specific needs. For example, Mr. Smith, at this time, the extended service plan that I've included in the menu is our most popular six-year, 120,000 kilometer comprehensive program. However, in a few minutes, we can determine your specific needs and ensure that we choose a plan that fits your specific driving habits. If you are using the 180 menu, you can very easily adjust the products in your menu on the fly during your presentation to suit your customer's product and payment preferences. Question, should I try to close the sale after each of my product presentations or should I wait until I've presented all of my business office products and then close utilizing the menu? Preferably, you'll want to close utilizing the menu after you have presented all of your business office products. For example, Mr. Smith, now that you have all the facts and information, which one of the menu options would best suit you and your new vehicle? However, in a situation where you are presenting one of your products and your customer expresses interest or asks several questions, you may want to attempt to close on that single product right away. If you're successful in doing so, immediately add the product to your agreement and on your software and gain agreement to the new payment. I hope that I've answered some of your questions. I'm Chris Schultes. Join me next time for another success tip.